Hello and welcome to Buxton on this absolutely glorious autumn morning. I've come to check out the long course for the round three of the Dark and White Autumn Trailrun series. So you'll register just down the road in the Burbage Institute and the start heads up this lane and we're straight into the crux of the route. So let's, let's get on with it. I'm really looking forward to today's run. It's uh, one of my favourite areas in the Peak District. Nice easy running along this quiet lane um, to get us warmed up but then the first climb really starts to kick in and it will steepen up to over 20 percent or something um, and a real thigh burn actually we said okay we're on to the climb proper now steep steps to start let's get those thighs going We're approaching the top of the first climb and it's actually okay, it's not too bad. The steep bits are very short and that first bit along the road warms you up nicely. And now we're about to have our first glimpse of the Goit Valley. Wait for it. Look at that. Look at that view. Woo! That is the Goit Valley in there are the two reservoirs of Irwood and Fernie Lee, which we, we will be circumnavigating later. That is your reward for your first climb. Okay, first descent of the route, quite tricky. If it was wet, it's gonna be slippery. We're just descending our way down to an old disused railway which will then contour around the side of the valley before we continue our descent down to Irwood Reservoir. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so nice. What a lovely, lovely autumn's day. I'd just like to take this opportunity while we're on a nice, easy section to just thank, thank you all for all your uh, nice comments and praises about these course previews really appreciate it and uh, yeah as long as you're enjoying them I'll continue to make them so that's the flat railway section completed and uh, we're now going to start the descent down to Irwood Reservoir Absolutely stunning views. We're now on to what I'm going to call the Irwood Reservoir uh, Traverse. So we've got the Irwood Reservoir to our left. It can be quite slippery because it's slightly off camber along here. Um, but it's a lovely little traverse across the hillside. On to the last section of the traverse and then we'll just be popping out onto the road, drop down the road and then down a little access road to the Fern Lee Reservoir and we'll be running along right next to the waterside. Whoa! It is super low. Look at that, it's just mud. This section along here, next to the Fernley Reservoir, is a really nice time to sort of recoup, set a nice pace, um, recover a little bit, because you'll want to, because once we get the other side of this dam, we're onto our second climb. It bites really hard at the beginning then it just drags on for another kilometre and a half through the forest. But you're starting to get an idea of why I love this area so much. Everything, everything you could want from a trail run. Across the yoke.
We're approaching the top of the tarmac section. So the steep section is almost over. We're onto one of the short down sections on this climb to provide little mini respites. Getting a bit warm. So that's the top of the climb, these double gates. And when you reach here, you not only will be at the top of the climb, but you'll get to the feed station. So there'll be a, a nice glass of water or a gel waiting for you. Sadly, I don't have such luxuries today. We're heading down a, a descent through these trees and through a car park to get to the west side of Irwood Reservoir. So here we are at the bottom. Um, and we're just keeping to this little footpath rather than running along the road. Ooh, this is a little stinger. So we're onto a lovely Goit Valley footpath here. So we've got the river to our left and we're climbing up away from the reservoir. It's a steady gradient, uh, has a few ups and downs along this path. And then it steeply just kicks up to the road and then we just run along that road, which is a one-way road and very, very quiet. And then we drop back down to the river and then that is the beginning of the final climb. So from there, it will be straight up and straight down to the finish. Here we are at the foot of Berry Clough. Uh, it's our final climb of the route and it's about one and a half K long, just under. And the steepest section comes halfway up. I'm ready for a cup of tea and there's only one way to get a cup of tea and that's to get over this final climb and that down the other side to Buxton. Wow, you can hardly see the path through all this bracken. <laughs> so this first section is nice. This is very runnable, but I'm pretty sure it gets a bit steeper just up here. Whoop. When you have a route as spectacular as this one, you don't have to cope with the hard bits better because you get so rewarded. Come on, Ollie. Come on. To the top. The top is in sight, folks. It's in sight. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. The top. It is quite blowy up here, so I'm, I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to get cold otherwise. And uh, I need that cup of tea. There's absolutely no hanging around. It's straight on with the descent, straight down. And on to the final 100 meters or so. Oh, that is a cracking trail run. You guys are gonna love it. Thank you ever so much for joining me again. And hopefully that's a nice insight into the Buxton Trail Run route. It's a classic. So this is the finish, just as the road starts. So that concludes the three previews for the three autumn trail runs. The next one will be the Wildest Peaks. Till then, thank you. And please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to help support this channel. All right, thank you very much.